What's going on, everybody? We're back with the Road to the Draft video. It's a Go Birds edition. Got my man James Seltzer here. And we're going to talk about Howie Roseman and his five worst draft picks since he became general manager. Not the ones he made with Andy Reid when he was the GM. James, who would you put as the fifth worst draft pick of Howie's time here? Yeah, it was tough to keep it to just five, Elliot, but let's dive in. I went with some more high-profile ones. Uh, the first one that comes to mind, a recent one, Andre Dillard trading up to get him. Certainly hasn't worked out so far, Elliot. No. Still on the roster, so who knows, but he might not be on the roster come training camp. If you look after Andre Dillard, Hollywood Brown went, Montez Sweat went, two guys that would certainly help this team at positions of need right now. James, who would you put number four? Yeah, number four, uh, I, I didn't blame him in the moment for this one, but hindsight is what it is, and we got to be real. Sidney Jones yeah. with the guys who are on the board, it just didn't work out. Yeah, and honestly, the guys that went after him, you know, at times, like, haven't been as great. But what really kills you is Dalvin Cook a few picks before that. Mm -hmm. Curtis Samuel went right before him. Look, I get that they got drafted ahead, but trade up, do what you got to do, finish it, and Sydney just didn't work out. Maybe a risk worth taking, but did not work out. James, who would you put number three? Yeah, number three, I think, is one a lot of people might even have uh, even higher than that. Yeah. And I think we all know the name you're going to say. But, <laughs> man, J.J. Ortega Whiteside, not a great traffic, Elliot. No, and he's at least had some chance to prove he can play, especially in a position where they've needed him to. And, you know, again, the name afterwards, maybe some medical concerns, but still how he gets the ultimate blame. DK Metcalf goes a few picks after that. He'd certainly look good in an Eagles uniform right now. All right, James, number two. All right, number two for me uh, isn't as much who went behind. It was right before that led to, I mean, legitimately one of the worst first-round picks in Eagles history. Marcus Smith couldn't even play football, Elliot. Yeah, and you know, there's honestly not many first-round picks, like you said, in the history of the franchise. I mean, Danny Watkins, I guess, would be up there. Marcus Smith never did anything for the team, really. Uh, you know, certainly did not work out. And that falls on Howie. Also, the chip era, for what it's worth. So maybe chips in there a little bit. But yeah, that did not work out for Marcus Smith and the Eagles. All right, number one, biggest bust of all time. I'm sure this will go over well, James. Who would you put? Yeah, I'm sure anyone who's listened to Go Birds, watched us yeah. ever, heard anything I've ever said knows what number one is. Jalen Rager over Justin Jefferson. Still to this day, Elliot, I get sick to my stomach when I think about it every single time. Yes, and if you listen to Go Birds, you do know how much that upsets James. <laughs> Look, Jalen Rager still on the roster like some of these guys. Maybe under Nick Sirianni, he bounces back. But man, Justin Jefferson was so good last year. And the fact that he went right after has to kill not only just the fans, but Howie Roseman, look, going into this draft, they have to hit. And hopefully in a few years, we're not saying any of these players are on his worst, uh, worst collection of picks. James, thanks for coming on, man. Hey, man, thanks for having me.